As overcrowding in Michigan animal shelters reaches crisis levels, there are concerns over the possible consequences of one city's ban of an entire dog breed this week. Yeah, Gross Point Shores near Detroit adopted the rule after a loose pit bull allegedly attacked another dog and its owners with a few penalties. Their Taylor sides, Charlie Tinker, spoke with advocates and local shelters. And Charlie, what are they saying about this? Well, Julie and Elena, good evening. Many of them told me it wasn't uh, the right decision to make morally. The two groups uh, we interviewed, as you mentioned, also worried about the impact, especially if other cities follow the lead here on those already overcrowded shelters. <laughs> Words like aggressive or unpredictable frequently single out pit bulls as the most dangerous dogs out there. We should be looking at every single individual dog. We can't make these generalizations. Kim Album of the Bissell Pet Foundation thinks the view behind them just isn't accurate. People that say that these dogs are, are bred to be aggressive, that's absolutely not true. They are wonderful dogs. They're, they're America's family dog. They're one of the most popular dogs in the country. Dogs, she says, like this one are mislabeled, often even mistakenly identified with only small traces of actual pit bull DNA. Are they going to do genetic testing? Because... There are dogs out there that don't look anything like pit bulls that have pit bull in them. We can't ignore facts of stated history of injury. Gross Point Shores in a four to three vote this week joined dozens of other Michigan communities passing similar blanket bans. So this is, she has three scars. And this is where the, her leg was amputated. The owners of 14-year-old cockapoo Maddie told our Detroit affiliate they were dragged to the ground and attacked by a pit bull while walking her during an incident in June. The dog responsible, they said, was not on its leash. We were on the ground for probably three, three and a half minutes trying to fight it off. And um, I was punching it in the face. The breed ban was proposed as a possible safety solution. It's really demonizing just a dog based on the look, and it's leading to a lot of misinformation. Lana Carson is the director of Pound Buddies. To hear that this happened, um, it's just really a step back um, from what um, other places are, are doing. The city of Muskegon in March moved to reverse its own ordinance, which had previously dubbed the dogs dangerous. We have a responsibility um, to these animals. If they buy into that hype, Absolutely, shelters are going to be, they're not going to have adopters. They're, they're going to be dogs that are going to lose their lives because of this. Also working in county animal control, Carson says experience has shown her any animal can exhibit aggression under the right circumstances. There is a dog that had an issue and now everybody's discounted. Album wants to see dog owners take more responsibility, toughening enforcement of existing public safety and animal welfare laws. I think that a lot of these decisions are knee-jerk reactions, and because of a couple of bad incidents, they're all banned. It, it's just, that's not who we are. Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side.